Hi, welcome to NPA Teaching. Today we are going to discuss about the concept of ordinal scale and its statistical analysis. Ordinal scale is a measurement scale used to simply show the order of the variable or the places of an event in an order like ranking of the students in a class as first, second, third and so on. These scales are generally used to measure the attributes like ranking of an event, satisfaction, happiness, degree of pain and stress etc. It is quite straightforward to remember because the implementation of this scale has ordinal sound similar to order which is the purpose of this scale. These scales only permits the ranking of items from highest to lowest or greater than or less than without showing how much greater or less than. For example, if Rahul's position in his class is 10th and Mohan's position is 40th, it cannot said that Rahul's position is 4 times as good as that of Mohan. This interpretation is wrong in the case of ordinal scale. Thus, ordinal measures have no absolute value and the real differences between the adjacent ranks may not be equal. Consider an example that is how satisfied you are with our service. The answer may be scaled in an order like very unsatisfied, unsatisfied, neutral, satisfied and very satisfied. Here see the order of the variable is most important and also is the labeling. Very unsatisfied will always be worse than unsatisfied and satisfied will be worse than very satisfied. So this is where ordinal scale is improvement over nominal scale that is the order is relevant to the result and so their naming. We can rank the available options by putting the numerical numbers like 1 for very unsatisfactory, 2 for unsatisfactory, 3 for neutral and 4 for satisfactory and 5 for very satisfactory. See, this is also an example of a Likert scale gives another of how you can't be sure about the interval with an ordinal data. Think of someone being asked to rate the questions like chocolate is irresistible. While rating this question, you can answer by selecting strongly agree or agree, no option, disagree and strongly disagree. What is the interval between strongly agrees and agree? It's practically impossible to put any kind of numbers to the interval. If you if we, if we are in a position to put the number to an interval, the gap between strongly agree and agree is likely to be much smaller than or higher than the gap between agree and no option. So that means the ordinal scale plays the event in an order or only we can rank the events but there is no attempt to make the interval of the scale equal in terms of some rules. Now see how to analyze the ordinal scale data graphically. Ordinal data can be analyzed graphically by using common visualization techniques like the bar chart, pie chart, table, mosaic plots, uh, gray scales, gradation, etc. So the bar chart depicts the numerical values against distinct categories in a two axis plot. On one axis, the category levels are listed and for each category one bar is plotted and its length along with other axis corresponding with the numerical value associated with the category. Similarly, we have a pie chart. A pie chart shows how some total amount is divided among distinct categories as a circle divided into various slides. Each category is associated with a single slice whose size corresponds with the category's proportion of the total. Another technique of graphically presenting an ordinal variable data is the table. So table can also be used for displaying the ordinal data and its frequencies as shown here. In the one part we will take the perception or statement and the second part we will represent its frequencies. Another graphical techniques to analyze ordinal data is mosaic plots. The mosaic plots can be used to show 
the relationship between an ordinal variable. This is the model of mosaic plots. The next one is the bump chart. The bump chart is the line chart which is also appropriate for the ordinal data that shows the relative ranking of item from one time point to the next. Lastly, we have the color or grayscale gradation can be used to represent the ordered nature of the data. A single direction scale such as income ranges can be represented with a bar chart where increasing or decreasing lightness of single color indicates higher or lower income. The ordinal distribution of a variable measured on a dual direction scale such as Likert scale could also be illustrated with the colors in a stacked bar chart. A neutral color or white or gray might be used for middle point with contrasting colors used in opposing direction from midpoint where increasing darkness of the colors could be indicate the categories at increasing distance from the midpoint. Now see how to analyze ordinal scale data by using statistical techniques. If we have only one variable that is univariable case then in place of mean and standard deviation the appropriate univariate statistics for ordinal data analysis is median percentile and quartiles like uh, quartile deviation and interquartile range. The median is the measure of central tendency which shows what is the average respondent might think or the likest response. So a percentile similarly a percentile or quartile are the measures of spreadiness or dispersion. It shows whether the responses are clustered together or scattered across the range of possible responses. If we have two variables, that is the case of bivariate, the methods such as man widely u test and Kruskal Valley's H test can be used to analyze the ordinal data. These methods are generally implemented to compare two or more ordinal groups. In a man's widely u test, Researchers can use it to compare two groups and conclude which variable of one group is bigger or smaller than another variable of the randomly selected groups. While the Kruskal Valley's H test where researcher can compare three or more groups and analyze these ordinal groups have same median or not. The another test for analyzing ordinal data is two sample Kolmogorov Smirnov test. This test is used to test the null hypothesis that two samples have same distribution. Similarly, we have Wald and Walfovis run test which is used to examine whether two random samples come from the population having the same distribution. And lastly, we have Wilcoxon signed rank test is the non-parametric alternative to the paired sample t-test. The only assumption made Wilcoxon test are the, the test variable is continuous and the distribution of differences score is reasonably symmetric. Now we are going to analyze the correlation of ordinal scale data. You know the correlation is a bivariate analysis that measure the strength of association between two variables and the direction of relationship. See what are the various measures of correlation when we have ordinal scale data. The first one is Goodman and Kruskal's gamma and simply we can call as a gamma coefficient. You know this coefficient is a measure of association or relationship between two ordinal levels variable. It is generally preferred when you have a many tied ranks or we can say that same ranks. It is also particularly used when your data has outliers as they don't affect the results much. It measures with any size of table and is a symmetrical measurement. The second one is Spearman's row or rank correlation. Spearman's correlation measures the strength and direction of monotonic association between two variables. You know what is the meaning of monotonic association or relationship? Monotonic relationship means that both variables are increasing together or decreases together. 
these two variables represents paired observation so we are using the spearman rank correlation when the direction and strength of monotonic association between two variables the third measure of correlation is the Kendall's tau B. Kendall's tau B is a non-parametric and the best alternative to Spearman's rank correlation, which measure the association between two ordinal variables. It is the most appropriate when the square table in which the number of rows and number of columns are equal. Another measure of correlation is the Kendall's tau C. And Kendall's tau C is usually used for a rectangular table in which the number of rows is different from the number of columns. The last type of measuring correlation of two ordinal variable is Somers. See the above given correlation coefficients like gamma, Spearman rank correlation, tau B and tau C are the measures which does not make any distinction between which variable is independent and which variable is dependent. The SOMAS D measures is an asymmetric modification of tau B. It measures how much prediction for a dependent variable improves based on knowing the value of or given the value of independent variable. Therefore, it is important to define here which variable is independent and which variable is dependent when running the SOMERS D test. These are the various measures of association between two ordinal variables. Now see the regression analysis, especially the ordinal regression analysis. In a regression analysis, the outcome or dependent variable that are ordinal variable can be predicted by using the variant of ordinal regression, such as the ordered logit or ordered probit models. That means when we have when the dependent variable has more than two categories. If we have two category, then we are using the logistic regression analysis. But when we have the dependent variable has more than two categories, then the value of each variable has meaningful sequential order where the value is indeed higher than the previous one. Then you can use the ordinal logit. The logit and probit model are basically same. The differences is in the distribution. The logit is the cumulative standard logit logistic distribution, while the probit is the cumulative standard normal distribution. I hope you are clear about the concept of ordinal scale and ordinal scale data and its statistical analysis like univariate statistics, bivariate statistics, different types of graphical techniques, different measures of association or relationship, and also the ordinal regression analysis. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.